This country was founded on white supremacy and, and every single institution and structure that we have in our country still reflects the legacy uh, of slavery and segregation. And All right, Jim hold Crow on. This country was founded on white supremacy? I spent a lot of time as a hobby and in work with my nose in documents and books and letters. This nation was founded on white supremacy? No, it wasn't. That is a flat out lie. This nation was not founded on white supremacy. They created this country on unalienable rights for every human being because they knew that even though they couldn't resolve in all parts of this country the issue of slavery, that their children or their children's children would have to address it because you couldn't have a country with a founding document that sees no color, that sees no race, that treats human beings as individuals, individual human beings, and slavery at the same time. So they had fought the Revolutionary War, which they were expected to lose. That war went on for over eight years. And the casualties were unbelievable. They were up against the greatest military force on the face of the earth. Then they had to create a government in order to keep all the different colonies, or then states, together. They would not have kept the states together if they had addressed slavery in a more fulsome way. South Carolina and Georgia made that abundantly clear at the Constitutional Convention. So they did certain things in order to create this nation, but they also knew that this issue of slavery would one day have to be addressed. They're given no credit from the radical left, no credit whatsoever. I maintain, and others do, that slavery would have gone on for a longer period of time had we not had a Constitution and the United States of America, because there would have been no need for a civil war. There would have been no need for a civil war, but there was a civil war. There were over 700,000 casualties in that civil war. To keep the country united, well, what was dividing the country? Slavery. You wait a Supreme Court today. Oh, you can't question John Roberts. You can't question the Supreme Court on the question of citizenship. The Supreme Court in the Dred Scott decision in 1857 ultimately lit the fuse for the Civil War. Taney, the Chief Justice of South Carolina, basically he said that slaves are property and that if they escaped to the North, they had to be returned to their owners. Lincoln, again, a candidate, but later, condemned the decision, was appalled by the decision, disgusted by the decision, as were the other abolitionists and quasi-abolitionists. But we created a country that could fix itself. A lot of countries don't fix themselves. And we had a war that almost destroyed everything over the issue of the Union related to slavery. There would have been no other reason for a civil war, none. So when they say, in a dismissive way, when Beto O'Rourke, who's done nothing for blacks in this country, nothing for anybody in this country, that this country was founded on white supremacy or white supremacism or whatever they say, it's blasphemous. It's a lie. And don't you find it interesting that if they're right, and of course they're not, don't you find it interesting that they wave around the very documents that those men wrote in 1776? They wave around that very constitution that those men wrote in order to defend and advance their ideology. Why do they do that? Because they're liars, that's why. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.